It's your good buddy SPJ back again with another episode of Stompbox Saturday. Hope you guys had an awesome week and are getting ready for what we have on the Stompin' Block this week. And it's one that had a lot of buzz around it, but maybe wasn't as appreciated when it was announced as I've come to appreciate it now that I have it in my possession. It is the latest from Strymon Engineering, the Compadre Dual Boost Compressor Pedal. When Strymon announced the Compadre, the reaction was less than thrilling. I feel like a lot of people just didn't understand why Strymon would discontinue their OB-1 compressor just to put out a new one, and who cared if there was a one-knob boost attached to it, so the reaction was, eh, not that great. But I was intrigued. I love compressors, and I love a good one-knob boost, and there are things about Compadre that, for me, make it a really great studio and gigging tool to the point where I'm pretty sure this is going to wind up on some pedal board in the near future. So while I take a sip of coffee, throw the pedal up on the screen, please. And let's take a look at this thing. As you can no doubt see, there are two components to Compadre. We start off with our compressor on the right side of the pedal and the boost on the left side of the pedal. Let's look at the most simple one first being the boost in that it only has one control, boost which is basically a level control. But there are three different voicings to this boost, so it's a little bit more versatile. A flat, which is gonna be just a straight clean boost for more of your guitar. A mid boost, which allows you to really accentuate those mid-range frequencies, which distort sooner than the other frequencies. And you're treated to this fattening, singing distortion that really pairs nicely to fatten up some uh, single coils as well as really make your overdrive tones sing. And then finally, the treble booster, a classic effect of classic rock, very Brian May-ish, accentuating those high mids and those high frequencies and rolling off that low end for nice and sparkly tones. But that's not all. On the back of the pedal, where you see inputs and outputs for audio, your expression pedal, yes, because you can control your overall volume with an expression pedal on Compadre, you also have a clean, dirty switch. So basically, the boost in and of itself is actually six different types of boosts in one. Now let's move on to my favorite side of the compadre, and that is the compressor. Three knobs to control that being compression, level, and dry. You get that classic two knob thing that we normally associate with compressor pedals, but the addition of the dry control allows you to do that parallel compression thing so you can bring in more of your original guitar tone, preserving the attack, and giving you basically a nice more well-rounded guitar tone. What's cool about the compressor, though, is that there's not just one voicing, there's two, studio and squeeze. Studio, you wanna think like rack-mounted compressor, the kind of compressor that does its job without really letting you hear that it's doing its job. But if you're more comfortable with that classic guitar squishiness, Go ahead and go to squeeze. That's gonna be for all you chicken pickers out there. Now, I don't claim to be a chicken picker, but I think we're gonna stick with the navigator when we check out the compressor, and we'll bring in the Les Paul when we check out the boost. So, let's dive right into it, starting with the compressor on studio. <laughs>
It's one of my favorite things about studio compressors. It does the job of a compressor, but you never hear it. You feel it, rather than that squish just like, and then letting it go slowly. It's just like, yo, stop it. You never get higher than here, but I wanna get higher than here, and it never lets it happen. Now let's listen to the same idea with squeeze. Obviously, this is gonna be much more of your traditional guitar compressor kind of thing, and well, I'll just bust out the stock chicken picking lick. <laughs> compressor thing. It just and then lets it go ever so lightly. This sounds pretty good. Although I'm I'm not like a huge like super apparent compression thing. There is something to the magic of that particular style of compression. Now you did see me writing the level control a little bit because you can either boost or cut the output level of the compressor. So if you need to gain stage it properly with your guitar amp and rig setup, you can very easily do so. But like I said, this dry control, that's that's where things really come in handy. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna dial in a fairly hefty compression tone with the studio and then slowly start bringing in the original dry signal so you can hear just what it imparts the guitar tone and how things kind of come a little bit more into focus, but we start feeling things a little bit differently. some of the sparkle because compressors tend to darken a guitar sound. Now let's switch to the Les Paul. Check out these boosts, both clean and dirty. <laughs>
with Compadre is to make your low end tight and everything just right into focus for some high gain down tuned riffage. This is my go to combination. That treble boost is really the key in this one. But the compression's not too heavy so that all the string levels are just nice and even so one doesn't stick out more than the other. <laughs> top of the video you heard me using a setting very similar to this where I'm using the squeeze setting for the compressor so that I get a nice classic guitar compressor sound but when I want to get into some distortion I kick on the mid boost that also fattens up these single coils but it's in the dirty mode so I have a nice singing soft clipping overdrive on my hands now if I want to make it a little bit friendlier I'll roll back the tone knob so that the high end isn't too biting for a little while and implemented it into my playing regime. How exactly do I feel about it? Personally, I have no idea why more people weren't excited after they heard the tones of this. This is a great two-in-one pedal that combines two very useful utility effects for the guitar player, but it is so much more than just the parts of the whole. The compressor is incredibly well voiced. The studio voicing is right up my alley. But that doesn't mean that the squeeze doesn't have its merits. And the fact that the boost is a one knob boost with essentially six different variations on the theme is pretty darn exciting if I do say so myself. Of course, everything that we heard is not the limit of what this can do. There's so much more that it can do. And if you've gotten the chance to play a compadre or hear it for yourself, I wanna know what you thought of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, whether it's positive or negative. But when you see it, please do click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you can come back next week for another episode of Stompbox Saturday. But if you wanna be sure to get that Stompbox Saturday episode before anyone else in the world, as well as see some videos that I'm not going to be sharing publicly here on YouTube. Consider becoming a member of my Patreon page by checking out the link in the description below. 
It is great that you guys chose to spend part of your weekend with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. And until next time, my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all out there great tone, good health, and happy stomping. Cheers, everybody. See you next time. Dang it. Dang it.